Hey y'all. It's nighttime. So how was y'all day today? Did y'all have a good day? I hope y'all did. I know y'all be talking back to me, so I'm finna stop talking to y'all. Like y'all gonna talk back to me because y'all don't. So I'm just gonna say I hope y'all had a good day. I have been having a pretty good day. I'm at work uh for another 15 minutes. <laughs> Uh, excuse me but i just wanted to come out here and talk to y'all for a minute um i excuse my nasally sound and all my sniffing because my allergies are messing up a little bit and i can't wait to get home to take um an allergy uh, um claritin or something because this sucks so bad and it's like it's getting worse because i'm sitting in my car but anyway um i wanted to come update y'all because i feel like as bad as I don't really want to be transparent, I feel like I need to. I don't know why. Um, I'm hoping that it's because other people watch this and they're going through something similar and they can just look at my videos and be like, well, hell, if she can do it, I can too, because you can. Um, it is not easy dealing with a person who has narcissistic traits or a diagnosed narcissist. It is not easy. I don't care how strong you are uh, mentally. I don't care how much willpower you have. Being with the narcissist is a mental game. And dealing with them in any way is a mental game. <clears throat> and it is draining. And it is not easy to walk away. It's not. Um, so since my last video, I was sort of sucked back in. Um, but I immediately... Not immediately, but I sooner rather than later decided to cut off communication yet again um we were in communication for about two days Saturday, Sunday, three days three days we were in communication it started with him wanting to come pick the kids up and um something took place that day that just really made me be like it wasn't a huge deal but it was just something it was just like you just don't respect my boundaries um, and so I noted it and I just moved forward. I didn't overreact or nothing. I just was like, this is how I feel about the situation. This is how I would like for you to handle it moving forward. Um, so then the next day was my son's birthday, Casey turned seven. And, um, he wanted to get him to spend time with him. So they did that. That day went pretty much fine. Um, and then the very next day, um, I asked him to barbecue some ribs for me. And um, he did, and he went and got everything, and he cooked them for me, and they were delicious. And, of course, now it's late, so he wants to stay the night. And, sure, it's late, whatever. And then the next day would be today, and we were just talking pretty much as normal. Now, during these days, I also was communicating how I feel. Um, but then I just, today, kind of, something happened that made me just be like, it's the same old pattern as he just comes back in and he just expects thing, us to pick up where he left off so today i was just like you know what this is not what i want to keep doing it's so easy to get sucked back in because you don't even realize it like even sitting here saying this to y'all I, when i tell y'all i am so strong and i'm not even trying to toot my own horn because i give god all the glory for my strength but i'm one of the strongest women that i know if not the strongest one of the strongest women i know um, I've been through so much and it's like, I overcame it all. So to be in this situation and it, for it to be hard for me is crazy. Soul ties are real, you know, so it's like, I get that it's harder. You know, he's my children's father. He is my husband. Um, you know, it's a lot of ties there, but I know I feel like I'm doing the best thing right now by keeping the sep separation at least for now until I can think clearer um because yeah we started to get back in that same cycle and I was like hold up wait a minute I'm asking you the same questions I'm expecting the same thing from you and then I feel crazy because I sh I'm saying the same stuff I always say I'm asking you for the same things I'm always asking you for and it's draining if you don't know by now you never will and I don't got time to keep explaining it over and over we we're I don't feel like we are just equally yoked i feel like we want two different things in life um i just feel like i'm always going to be the bad guy no matter no matter what and i don't want that and i would like for us to not hate each other or resent each other because we still have a lifetime ahead of us um so yeah um y'all 
this shit ain't easy. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not. And I, I was going to stop the whole series of talking about what's going on because I don't want it to be repetitive. I don't want to come on here and update y'all, but I feel like I got a few more videos in me um, to talk about this particular situation. I'm going to be adding other content in too as well, but I, I don't, I feel like I'm doing the right thing by coming on here talking to y'all because uh, y'all been watching it. I mean, y'all watching it. So, and I know so many women, I wish y'all would comment because I know there's so many women that have dealt with this or is dealing with this. And my heart go out to y'all because uh, it's just so much, y'all. It's so much. Um, Do I love this man? Absolutely. Would I like for it to work? Of course. Um, the, I've told him the only way I can see it working is if you go to counseling. And if you know what I know about people that have narcissistic traits or diagnosed narcissists, they almost always refuse to go to therapy. Um, and when they do, it's because they want to try to prove you wrong. Like either they feel like they don't need it or when they do go, it's like, yeah, see, mm -hmm, I told you you was a problem. See, mm -hmm, I told you that that's you trigger me or I, t I told you why I told you like, you know, that you were wrong about that. It's kind of more so that reason instead of going with the purpose of wanting to get help and be better. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, if he goes to therapy, that's probably the only way that I could try to make things work with him. But it's honestly, I'm getting to the point where even if he does go to therapy, I think that I'm just tapped out. I think I'm tapped out at least right now. I'm not going to come out here and promise y'all nothing. Um, but the way I've been feeling consistently for the past couple weeks has been, I just need to, some time to think about it. I need some time to think about it. I need some time to myself to just clear everything out. Um, Cause like what they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So if I'm not near you and I'm not by you and I'm not talking to you and I still feel good and I'm happy, that's kind of a flag. <laughs> I don't even know what color is it? A red flag? Is it a green? Like it's, it's like if I'm okay with not seeing you, some, that shouldn't be the case. You know what I'm saying? So that's where we are at today. Tomorrow, we are celebrating Kason's birthday. We're going to be going to Chuck E. Cheese. Um, and then um, by the time I post this, he will already see it. So what I'm going to do is just surprise him with some little decorations. We'll do like a birthday. Y'all know I'll be doing the same most of every year. Like we'll get cake and ice cream or cupcakes and ice cream. I'll decorate the house. He don't even know I'm going to just surprise him with it because I'm going to drop him off at daycare in the morning. Then I'm going to go to the store, get everything all decorated and then have it for when he comes home. That's the plan. Um, and there's a game that he want on Mario that I'm going to buy him. So That'll be really cute. So y'all stay tuned for that um, footage. And I know we're going to Chuck E. Cheese too. So I may require a little bit of us going to Chuck E. Cheese. And then that's going to be it. So <sighs> until I feel like God is telling me not to post nothing on here no more, I, I will. I will. Um, it may not be as consistent. And every video may not be about it. But this is my real life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people won't come on here because they know that they're going to be going back and forth or they don't want to be judged. And I understand that people going to judge you regardless. You know what I'm saying? People going to judge you regardless. So it's like living your truth at the end of the day. And that's what I'm doing. This is not easy. I know I keep reiterating that. It's not easy. I am a very headstrong person. Like when my mind is made up about something, there's pretty much no convincing me of anything else. Like I have my mind made up. So it just goes to show how strong the disorder is uh, with a person that has these strong abilities to manipulate you, even when you don't realize it. So yeah, that's going to be that. I don't want it to be too heavy. So um I got some exciting things happening at work. I'm hoping they're exciting. I'm hoping that um, everything goes as planned, but um, I will let y'all, I will keep y'all updated on it as well. I'm just trying to elevate my life. Y'all, I'm just trying to keep moving up and just get better and better for my kids. And 
I just got so much stuff I'm trying to do and this is I feel like it's kind of weighing me down and I don't like that so yeah but you know have a good evening have a good day good morning whatever it is whenever you see this video enjoy your life do something that makes you happy today go step in some grass go hug a tree go touch a tree go get some fresh air go for a walk all these things are free <laughs> all this stuff is free you can do this like at no charge so my light going off it's time for me to clock out that's my sign to go so i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to like this video just push the thumbs up that's all you gotta do and i'm asking that you subscribe to my channel i'm like three away from 200 subscribers so um can we make that happen please and i will see you guys tomorrow bye